Hello there, and welcome to another The Hunter Classic gameplay video. My name is Wimp, and in this video, in case you hadn't guessed by the title of the video, I'm going to be re-attempting some of the randomly generated missions that I failed. Now, I've got three written down. There are a couple more. Um, one I sort of completed, that was the water buffalo from a stand and blah blah blah. I, I sort of did it, I just couldn't actually harvest the animal. And then I sort of killed another one in a similar fashion, but not quite, but I was able to harvest it. And I cheated and said that I completed it, but I'm not doing that one. Uh, and there was also a Sitka, buff, uh, a Sitka buck on White Rhyme Ridge um, that was over, I think it was 75 metres and it had to be a certain score. Uh, I forget what the score was now, over 96, I think, but I won't be doing that one either. But I have three others that I've written down. Gobble, gobble! Uh, that I'm going to be re-attempting today. So, the first one that I'm going to be doing is going to be from my Backlog 4 video of randomly generated missions, and I'm going to be doing this one. A coyote bitch on White Hart Island at 100% harvest value from a stand and from a distance of at least 150 meters. Now, if you've seen this video, you'll know I end up bitching and moaning about it quite a lot because I end up here a few times trying to attempt it and each and every hunt, uh, each and every subsequent hunt, there are less and less animals here to the point where the last attempt, I think there's one doe right up here by the tent and I think that was about it. So... <laughs> Here is what I was trying to do and what I will be doing again this time. So I'm going to walk down this side of this little lake here and I'm going to pop a tent down roughly there with a tripod stand next to it and then I'm going to be trying to lure coyotes from this uh, ground blind because there were some in the area the first time I tried. And then once one's coming in, that is a female, I will then fast travel to the tent that's here and try and take the shot from the tripod stand. That's the plan. Now, just like in the first attempt, I will be bringing the 93 times 62 because I think there was nothing wrong with the rifle. Uh, it was just there were no coyotes coming. So there we go. So... I will see you when I've got the equipment set up, just to say the equipment set up. And then hopefully it won't be a long wait until coyotes start coming. So I'll see you in a mo. Right then, the tent is in place. I'm in roughly the same spot as the last attempt. No, no. <laughs> I thought that was spin it, but it's not, is it? Oh. Although this this might do, other than it's facing the wrong way. Uh, yeah, I just need to make sure that I put the spinny decoy about there-ish. Yes. Uh, now, where did those turkey go? They're still there. I need to walk past them. <laughs> Grr. Okay, so I'll see you when I get over at the ground blind. Okay, I've made it over to the ground blind. Let's pop down the spinny. Uh, I think it was up here I dotted. Hard to tell. There will do. Now I I did. Oh, in case you care, I bowed one of the turkey toms and scored forty five. Mm. Uh, so I did check on my video, and I was hunting at nine rather than eight. So I might need to try again at a different time in another hunt. But while I'm here, I might as well try. So I'm going to wander off into the woods a little bit, make some calls. 
see if we can hear anything, and then come back to the ground blind and make some more calls. A coyote! Possibly more than one. Actually, yes, definitely more than one. So I call roughly... I, I'm not going to be able to put the dot on my... Well, uh, yeah, roughly there. Roughly there. And I was heading that way to do another call. But these guys are coming. So I'm going to go to the ground blind, make a call. This time I'm definitely going to wait until I know they're on their way before I fast travel. Because <laughs> I don't know if you saw that video or well, remember if you did see it. But I was fast travelling away from the ground blind when I thought the coyotes were coming. And I'm guessing they then... Uh, I tr fast travelled out of render range, perhaps? That is a female! Good, so we know there's one there. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was fast travelling and then they weren't coming over to this ground blind where I was calling. I, I'm pretty sure I had a spinny decoy up as well. Uh, I didn't actually watch all of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so definitely going to wait. Okay, I'm back at the spinny decoy. Same one? No, different one. Also female. Good. Okay, call. Ground blind. Binoculars, watch, fast travel. <laughs> in in that order. Oh, I I've already broke the order. I got the binoculars out before I got on the Haha, yeah. ha, funny, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> Stand up please, thank you. Right, so they're roughly in that direction. There you go, I can see one coming already, good. So, let's, actually, let's wait a little bit longer. Yeah, definitely saw it. <laughs> right. There you go, I can see them on the beach already. Need to make sure I target a female. Are you a female? No, you're a male. What about the one in front? Please, yes, you're a female. And she dropped dead. Okie dokie then. Let's run over and get her. So it needs to be 150 meters at 100% harvest value uh, from a stand. Well, we did, we did the stand bit. I'm guessing the 100% harvest value bit is done as well. Um, I mean, it is the 9.3 times 62. Is, is that right? <laughs> 62 is a large caliber yeah. for a coyote. So it might be that a large caliber will lower the harvest value, but we'll find out when we get there. Right, I'm going to try and get a blood. Yeah, now I'm going to get, oh, <laughs> three, I'm going to get one more track after this one. I'll see you back at the body. There, there's the third track. <laughs> Okay. Uh, distance 175, 96.5, yeah. So the harvest value. So is this going to be another one where I cheat and say I've done it? <laughs> Do you know what? I think I might give it one more try with a slightly less powerful weapon. 
So let's have a look. At... <laughs> nearly. I'm nearly in the same spot. Wait, is it these rocks here, maybe? There-ish? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's have a... That's why I opened this in the first place. Permitted ammo. Let's have another look at the weapon type. So the original video, I wanted to bring the 30 or 6 because it was still a relatively new weapon. Uh, but as I said in that video, it didn't have the range of optics. Yeah, and you see I've used this one right up here, so I think one further down might be good. There we go with the 6.5 times 55. Mm, no. Yeah, I'll give that a try. I think one's called the Panther, isn't it? Okay, so I'll see you in a new hunt. I'll leave all the equipment I've already placed and we'll see if we can do it again. Okay, new hunt started at 9. Didn't bring the 6.5 because just like the 30 or 6 Stutzen, it didn't have the high powered optics I wanted, so I've got the 7x64 instead. So let's head over to the spinny spinny and do some calling and stuff, and I'll bring you back when something happens. Just had a yoked call from behind me from where I had squealed from. Hey, it's a female. And there you go, the ring's on the hunter meter, right on the red dot from where I called. So, I had a thought about the last attempt where it wasn't 100% harvest value. What I should have done, because I knew there were going to be coyotes in the area, because it was a, a pack of, was it five or six of them, and I only shot one. And they don't run far enough that they will not come to the call. Oh, although I wouldn't then be able to fast travel back to the tent. That's the problem. But what I should have done is walked back here and kept calling until they come back. Because they would have come back. But still, you know. In fact, it's possible they may have taken long enough to come back that I could have fast traveled again. Did I just see something over there? Oh, okay. Blacktail. Oh, I bowed a blacktail butt, in case you care. <laughs> right here, then. So I'm going to get close to the spinner, do another squeal. Are you okay? Are you getting... Um, mm -hmm. I was going to say the, the tops of the antlers look like they're quite close together. So I don't think he's going to be very good. What about you there? You look like you might be slightly better. No? Okay. And of course they're coming this way, but that's okay. Hopefully. <laughs> so, squeal. Ground blind. <laughs> Binoculars, fast normal. <laughs> ah, there. There! Okay. Time to fast travel! Fast travelled! Uh, are they on the beach yet? Yep, they are. Okay, good. Female. <laughs> they did. Uh, <laughs> I was going to try, but no, Ziggy Zaggy too much. All right. So that was a less powerful rifle. Oh, I don't need to dot it, do I? So hopefully that will get me the 100% harvest value.
and yeah, so if, if it doesn't, I might try bringing that second one back and then using a different rifle. But again, obviously, the fast travelling is going to be the issue. Can I get the third track? The blood? Yes, I can. Right, yo then. Here we go. Moment of truth. Trophy integrity. Harvest value. More than 150 from a stand. And a female. Done it. Finally done it. Okie dokie then. The next failed random mission then that I'm going to be doing next is the one from randomly generated missions number two. It was hunt a reindeer using no hunter mate or without using the hunter mate more accurately. So that's what we're going to do now. I do have a little bit of a plan with that one. Let's see, where's my map? I uh, can't remember again who did this map. Thank you very much if you just happen to be watching. So, my reindeer triangle is set up here. I have a tree stand roughly where this one is. I also have a tripod stand not quite in the same place. I think mine's more, more there, but... Uh, oh. I think. Uh, and I also have another tripod stand up here. And no, a tree stand, sorry. And I also have one in this location. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn at the reindeer triangle. Mm, which way round should I do them? Right. I've decided I'm going to go to that one first, then the one over here, and then to this one down here. Then, if I still haven't found a, a reindeer bull, uh, I I don't think the wheels actually uh, meant for it to be a bull, but why not? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do them that way round, then fast travel to the lodge, then I'm going to walk this way in a kind of a loop back to or uh, down to this one then i'm going to walk over to the triangle again i'm going to do them in a different order that time that one then that one and then that one and then i'm going to walk to that tower and if i still haven't got the reindeer by then i shall do a new hunt and do the whole thing again spawn there go there 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 fast travel to that one, then do them that way round, walk to that tower. That's the plan. <laughs> so, I'll see you over on Hemeldown. Oh, after I've picked up all the equipment. <laughs> Here we are on Hemeldown then. So I'm bringing the 300 for the reindeer bull. I also, of course, have the snake bite in case I need to take anything out quietly. Now, just to make it clear, because all of my equipment is obviously on this map, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to fast travel to this lodge where I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to walk across and do these that way round. Then from here, if I still haven't got one, I'm going to walk to the tower. Based on that guide map <laughs> is the plan. And of course, I need to do it all without this. So this needs to go away. Right, hopefully I will see you very, very soon. <laughs> I've just made it to the second tree stand. Just before I got into it, I was st uh, well walking about there-ish, and I hear a sneeze off in that direction. Now, I had already rattled. I had rattled over, I don't know, there-ish. Yeah, I guess. And uh, so, hopefully, we got reindeer on the way. And I... Uh, other than, so over at the tree stand over here, there was a moose down here somewhere. Uh, of course, I don't know where. 
But I, I used the caller down the slope in front of the tree stand, and there was a track dome. I did get the hunter mate out. I was about to pick up the track, and then I realized can't use it, so I put it away. So that's the only time this hunt that I've used it, which is a bit better than previously, because previously I have actually picked up a track and then had to put up with a full track dome in front of me. Right, so I'll see you when this ball gets here then. Bless you. I see movement. I see a cow. Oh, no, a shit bull. Fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So, other than picking him up, I haven't used the hunter mate so that'll be that mission done finally this failed randomly generated mission okay I would like to get the tracks but I'm not going to <laughs> unless it picks the blood up no yo <laughs> whoopee right done sorted so, the next and last one that I'm going to retry is this one that is in Missions Backlog number 2. In fact, this is the only randomly generated mission I attempted during this entire video, and it didn't go well. Now, <laughs> I don't think it's going to go well this time either, but I would like to end the video with this one. Let's wait for the siren to go. It was an ambience. The ambience is gone. So, go to Logger's Point. Oh, for Pete's sake. Go to Logger's Point. Harvest a meal deer scoring at least 195 with a cap lock muzzle loader. As you can see from the thumbnail of the previous video. So that's what we're going to go do now. Here we are on Logger's Point, and I think I'm going to go to Settler's Creek. No, no, really. Uh, Settler Creeks. I always pluralize the wrong one. Wrong word. Oh, and I, by the way, it's because of Logger's Point that I always pluralize the wrong one. Logger's Point, Settler's Creek. It just makes sense in my head. Uh, anyway, so, plan. Right. I have the cap lock. And of course I have the snake bite in case I want to take anything out quietly. I also have the crossbow pistol for the bobcat and the pheasant and the rabbit. Uh, I have the callers I might need, including mule deer urine spray. And I'm going to prioritize this over the caller, just so I don't inadvertently bring over any uh, white-tailed deer. Now, as for my plan, I've circled all the locations on the map where the spawn map on the wiki says that mule deer can be found. Obviously, they can walk outside of these areas. So, what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to go this way and check this area. And then I'm going to go check in this area. Oh, I wanted to go via the tower. <laughs> so I'm going to go there and then sort of up to where that electricity pylon is. Then I'm going to head this way to that tree stand. I don't think I'm going to bother with the tower here, the middle tower. I think from here I'm just going to head straight south along the road to that tree stand. And then... Oh, okay, yeah, I, I got it. So I'm then going to walk through that circle across the bridge to that tower. Then I'm going to fast travel to the other lodge where I'm going to do a this kind of thing. And I might end up down by that tower, possibly. I mean, I'm hoping to have got... Oh, yeah, it needs to be over 195, doesn't it? 
Well, okay, so that's my plan. There you go. <laughs> we'll see how we do. Right, so hopefully I will see you soon. Contact with my first mule. Dear Buck. Oh, bloody nether hog. Uh, so, the furthest red dot from me was the call of a mule deer buck. I called roughly from here, and I did a urine spray over there-ish. <laughs> and so far I've bowed two of these hogs. And not one of them has dropped down dead. Luckily I have enough arrows. So actually the closest red dot to me that you can see is where the first hog I bowed was stood. If you're wondering. So, let's wait for this buck to arrive and see if it's big enough. The buck has arrived. No, it's nowhere near. I mean, it's possible it's not the same one, but... <laughs> I highly doubt it. It is the same one. See, I was right to doubt that it wasn't the same one. Because it was. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we're going to bow him. Okay, here we go. And something in the distance looks like a pig, actually. Yeah. Uh, right, so I'm going to pick up that buck and then I'm going to go after these pigs that I've bowed as well. A quick update time. I found tracks of some bucks coming this way, so I followed them. Just uh, crossbow pistoled a bobcat down there. But you might be able to see some blobs moving. There are bucks. There you go. You just heard one of them call. None of them are big enough though. Up to 135. Up to 150. Ooh! I don't think I saw that one. The one that's in the ground. You may have just seen its antlers. And there's another one which is even worse. Up to 185. So that's not big enough. But... Are you the guy I saw? Yeah, I think you are. Uh, so, yeah, none of them are going to be good enough. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so there were a couple of does to my right just now. They were down there. And I'm guessing that's what I can hear. Yeah, no antlers next to those ears. And definitely not a buck. Uh, actually, I'm not too fussed if that one spooks. Uh, I might try and bow the bucks. Can you, can you guys run away, please? Thank you. Okay, well, like I said, I'm going to try and bow some of these bucks, but I'm not going to bother showing them. So, hopefully I will see you further along for a 195. Well, as I did with these, I'll bring you back to show you any that I do find. Right, buck ahead. You may have just seen the rings dissipating on the hunt mate, but he's about... Yeah, there-ish. Uh, he own... His weight estimate only goes up to 115, though. Meh. Uh, right, quick um, update. I cleared out all the uh, mule deer down here and picked up the bobcat. I can't remember if I said I had used the crossbow pistol on a bobcat there as well. That was the first thing I shot at when I got there and I can't remember if I said. Uh, let's clear all of that mess out of the way actually. So I spent a bit longer down there than I really wanted to, but every time I went to leave, one of them then came trotting back up or something, and 
Of course, I then threw some kind of ammunition at it, and you know, you know how this game goes. It, an arrow to the front of the chest, it pretends it's an arrow to the side of the leg, and uh, the one I shot with this, it pretended again, it was pretended that was a body shot when it was in the side of the chest. But there you go. Never mind. <laughs> Although I think, in terms of gems, I mean, none of them were particularly great. The, I mean, even the one that only went up to 185, that was the highest of the group, wasn't all that special, really. But, you know, five five bucks and a bobcat, all in a small area, that's pretty good, even for gems. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to lure this guy up onto the road and take the shot from here. I suppose. Do camo work here? Yep. Yeah. So the buck was a no-show. I have a funny feeling he's gone to sleep. So I've pushed forward to see if I can find him. That's his old track. Right. My plan is to get up on top of this big bouldery rock type thing and see if I can see him. Is that him there? Summit Brown. No. <laughs> Ooh. He... He was... Yeah, he was asleep. How did I not see him? Is he any good? No. Worth a shot at the backside, though. Up here, Boomy. That'll teach him for being a pain in the where I just shot him. <laughs> so, where was he asleep? No. Is this bedding? Yeah, there we go. I, I don't get it, though, because I... I checked those two tracks and I did not see him here. Okay. Well, it's very nearly time for me to stop recording anyway. And as we saw, this guy isn't going to be anywhere near big enough. I think his max estimate was 135. So nowhere near. So, yet again, this randomly generated mission eludes me. Because as usual, the, you know, the score... Although, like I said, hands up, I spent ages down in that little peninsula bit. Uh, as you can tell, I <laughs> I spent so long down there, this is all I've covered. But, yeah, right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've got some enjoyment out of it, and hopefully I will see you in another video. So thank you again, and goodbye. Surprise, it's not the end. So I'm pretty sure that guy there that I've just bowed is the guy I shot at the ass. But I've got this guy coming in. His rack looks fairly tasty and his maximum estimate is 205. Since we need 195, obviously there's more of the estimate below that than above, but it's worth a try. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, this guy coming in is fully tracked. Now, I did find one here before I found more, and I couldn't figure out where he went, because he, he was walking that way, and then he turned... It, more than 90 degrees, and then I couldn't find his next track. So I'm guessing this is the guy. <laughs> That's quite funny. Hey, right, come on, then. I'm going to need you closer than that for a muzzle loader shot. Why does that look like he's looking at me? Oh, I can see him through the crack. He's moving again. 
There we go. He's going to be a sub 40 shot by the looks of it. Off he runs, but at least he was shot. Okay, I'll see you when I catch up with him then. That's quite funny. Rings on the hunter mate. Same buck. <laughs> so I think I'm going to bring him back here if I can. And try and get a side shot on him from over there maybe. There he is, acting wounded, body shot apparently, is that you again? It is. Yeah, come on, I'm not taking a over 60 metre shot at you. Okay. Uh, body shot again. Just got the spotting info for something. Oh, it's him. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I tried to use it like a bow, but I th I think I hit him anyway. <sighs> oh. <laughs> it, it, you serious? The the one where I didn't actually properly aim was the one that killed him. <laughs> No, 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 that's bullshit. That is absolutely bullshit. I know for a fact I that poor shot, that last shot was about here in his right leg. Uh, although, oh uh, no, should, should, we, should we say that 190 was good enough? 190 was good enough for that mission that I gave to myself. There we go. Mission, mission complete. Right, so thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope you got some enjoyment out of it. Again. And hopefully, again, I will see you in another video. Again. So thank you again, again. And goodbye. Again. <laughs>